All right, welcome to this basic tutorial slash overview of ProPresenter. Um, here is, I have ProPresenter 7 pulled up on my screen here. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is kind of go over an overview of everything really, really quick. And this is not going to be a detailed, in-depth overview, um, but just kind of a quick run through to kind of get you up and running um, as fast as possible. So uh, starting on the left-hand side here, uh, we have our search uh, searching is how you will add songs to playlists or find things within ProPresenter that you need. Um, right now, we there's really nothing in it um, because we haven't added anything, so searching doesn't give us much. Um, the other buttons that we want to cover real fast is this show button. We are currently on show, and this will have all of your slides laid out in one spot and give you um, generally what you're what you're looking at as you're presenting um, slides. Second button is edit here. Um, and editing is the window that we will use as we go through and build slides. It shows you your, your slides um, in the presentation order on the left-hand side here, and then your active slide that they, you're editing here. And you have all of your controls um, for your shapes, your text, all your normal text stuff, um, and then any building that you want to do, which would animate um, pieces of the slide in and out. We won't cover that here, but um, that's, where, that's where that is. So. So I don't know, back to the show um, piece. The, the next thing we'll cover is library. When you load in library, it has one as default, one default library, and it will have um, one playlist called playlist in there. Um, the first thing uh, I recommend doing, especially um, for building songs, we're going to be mainly covering just building lyric slides. Um, I create a new library here, and we will name that library songs. And this will be where we load and add all of our songs to. Um, so we're going to to just jump right in. We're going to start here in songs. We're going to click new presentation. And we are going to name the presentation the name of the song that we are building. Uh, for this example, uh, I have King of My Heart pulled up here. We're going to build uh, slides for King of My Heart. So we'll add that in here. We will change the theme here. Uh, for this example, we're going to use this white text horizontal lines. Um, and the size is going to be 1920 by 1080 because uh, we're not um, putting out anything in 4K or anything. And the library will be songs. So make sure that's selected to songs. Um, that way your song will go into your songs library. And then we'll click new. And so you can see it's created King of My Heart as a presentation within the library songs. And we have one beautiful blank slide sitting here. So the way that I build slides is I jump right into the editor from here. And we get rolling. Um, so we will jump in here and select the text box that before text selecting it just said text and I will go, come in here and copy this command C um, and then when you paste click paste and match style and it throws it in there it already has all of your styling set in there uh, if you want to change the style of your lyrics don't do it here. Um, we will cover that in another uh, video, but we will do that under the themes. And that way we can make one change and it will apply to every single song. So um, as we just go through here, we pasted that in there. I'm going to look and see, copy this next line in and see if it fits. Um, it does fit. So there we go. That's our first slide. Um, and to kind of keep going, we're going to right click on the slide and click duplicate. So our second slide here, I will click on here and click Command A. Then copy the next line over here, paste and match style, fountain I drink from, and then we can fit uh, this in here as well. Copy, add another line, right click, paste and match style, boom. And then we will duplicate this slide. Select here, Command A, and then the next part. Boom. I'm going to try and copy both of those. It should work if we paste a match style. Boom. Perfect. Uh, duplicate. Command A. Come in here. The ransom for my life. OE is my song. Copy. Paste a match style. And excuse me for a second. I'm going to turn on Do Not Disturb. All right. <clears throat> 
Boom. So we have our first um, verse or two verses, depending on how you look at it, in there. Um, we're just going to keep going. Um, the great thing about ProPresenter is you're able to designate groups, and we'll dive into groups here in a second. Um, but for now, you're only going to put in uh, you're going to put in all the lyrics um, once. So if they were to repeat verse one again, we're not going to retype it back in since it's already in here. We will add it to a group and roll with that later. Um, right now, we're just going to go ahead. Since it's not, we're just going to go into the chorus here. So again, just duplicate. Boom. Uh, double click on it. Command A. And we'll bring those two lines in. Right click, paste to match style. And duplicate. Command A, copy this in here, Command C, and paste to match style. So now we see that we have the same, the same lyrics that repeat a, th a total of three times here. So that's what's great about using this, using duplicate to build it, is I can just come click on here and duplicate that, and then I see that we have here because you are good oh oh and then because you are good you are good you are good so there it is three times and then i'll duplicate it one more time to be the one that we edit or that we do for the verse the next verse here so then command again command a here once you select the uh once you select the text box command a will select or control a if you're on windows will select the text in here and then we'll jump over to the verses here boop and copy that or command C and then the only thing is you don't want to use command V or uh, control V shortcut here um, because it will paste it with the wrong it'll copy this style onto here so that's why we click paste and match style and then we'll just keep rolling here so again here double click command A select the next two lines copy right click paste nope yep and that's why you don't do that uh, paste and match style and there it is. Duplicate. We will copy that. Command A. Paste and match style. Duplicate. Command A. Copy. Right click. Paste and match style. So, uh, as we are looking here, we see that we have verse 1, chorus, verse 2, and then verse 2 repeats again here. Um, we are going to, since we already put those words, those lyrics are already in here, uh, we don't need to, uh, to, to duplicate and copy and paste those in there. Um, we'll do that again with groups. Um, so... We'll just scroll down to see when the next new lyrics show up. And then as we go down, we go, so we do verse two twice, and then we do the chorus again, which we already typed the chorus in up here. Don't have to worry about that. And then we come into the bridge here. And so that is the next newest lyrics that we have. So I'll, again, I'll duplicate that last one. Double click, Command A. Right click, copy, paste to match style. So you're never gonna let me down, and we'll duplicate that. And then I think, oh, there's an and. No, we're not gonna bring that in. So um, make sure I recommend bouncing between the chord chart on Planning Center and the Google lyrics, um, just because a lot of times Google will throw in extra stuff like and, um, because that was said in the recording that they're pulling their lyrics from, uh, but that's not actually in the lyrics that you want to put up on the screen so if we look at this it's uh, you're never gonna let me down you're never gonna let me or you're never gonna let you're never gonna let me down you're never gonna let you're never gonna let me down same thing same thing same thing so we just need to in uh, pro presenter just duplicate this it shows up one two three four times so we will come in here we have it one two duplicate duplicate boom so we have you're never gonna let me down one, two, three, four times, and then we will duplicate again. And I actually, I think that's all the lyrics, because then we just go back in here. I will double check this on Planning Center real quick. Hang on a second. I'll be right back. 
All right, so we just jumped over here and pulled up the planning center chord chart. Uh, the reason why I don't work off of the planning center chord charts or chord charts in general is a lot of times with the chords being on there, when you copy stuff, it copies really, really weird and just messes stuff up. So you'd have to like type everything in. That's why I use Google lyrics to copy and paste, um, but use the chord chart for reference as far as the structure of the song. So we can see here we've got verse one, king of my heart goes through chorus you are good um verse two twice here um and then the bridge you're never gonna let me down one two three four times we've got that in there um and then it looks like there's a tag here at the end of the king of my heart um the fountain i drink from um so we will go ahead and actually if we look here that oh well, you can't copy there this is the same as the first slide of the verse um so i will just come in here um, and right click duplicate that so now we are done in the edit window we have put in all of our lyrics um, that are used in the song it is not in the correct order right now but all of the text that will be used to build the presentation is in here so we are done in the edit window here we're gonna go back to show so you can see now all everything that we put in there um, is now showing up here um, uh, we have the, this first, uh, line of the verse in here twice, um, which I'm just going to take this and drag this to the end. Cause that is this ending here. So the next thing we're going to do is add three blank slides. So we're going to click add slide, add new slide, add slide, add new slide, add new slide. So now we have three extra slides. We're going to take one of those slides and drag it all the way up to the top. And so it should be blank slide and then the everything you put in and then two blank slides at the end. Now we're going to get into planning center or I'm sorry, pro presenters uh, groups and groups are super powerful. And that's what allows us to only type to turn this, which really would not do anybody any good um, in a live setting to display lyrics into a whole song where the only thing the op has to do is literally just click the next uh, slide. So to do that, we're going to start off and click on this slide, right click and go down to groups. And so now you can see that we have a bunch of groups already built in here um, to determine where in the song uh, this slide should go. So this slide is our first slide. It's the blank one. It is the intro. Um, now what that did is it turned everything the intro, which obviously the whole song is not the intro. So we're going to start here on verse one right click verse one go to group and click verse one and we see that it goes till here and this is the first verse of the chorus so we're going to right click on that one click group and add that as chorus and now if you'll notice i decided to add that as just chorus not chorus one um, because there is no other chorus if we look here um, so some songs have different choruses for different times um, there's no different chorus it's the same chorus so um, we'll just add that in here as chorus instead of chorus one um, but you do will notice that i added verse in here um, as verse one because we do have a verse two so come through here you are good boom and then we get to verse two right click group verse two and echo my days then we go to here this is the bridge we're going to go into group and add bridge again there's only one bridge so we don't need to put it as bridge one it goes to here and actually i just noticed this is the first two lines so this right here will be our tag and we'll go in here to group and add it as a tag um uh, i just Notice here that we only pulled in this first line, so I'm going to copy the second line out of the ver out of verse one, um, and add that as our tag as well. So the fountain I drink from, I'm going to click copy, then I'm going to click this slide and click paste. So now you'll see it added that second line in there. Um, so these two are going to be our tag, and then at the very end here, the this next one, we're going to add it as an interlude. And that will be just a blank slide that we have that we can place anywhere in the song if there's a time where we don't need lyrics to be up on the screen. And then the last one, we're going to do the outro or the ending. Yes, sorry, ending. And so here we go. Now we have everything built in and we know everything is named and grouped 
as it should be. So all our lyrics are in and all our groups are built. So the next thing we're going to do is click this little guy, which is our arrangements. And this is where the groups really shine. So right now, this is our master arrangement. So this is all the lyrics that the song contains thrown in there. Um, it kind of in somewhat of an order, but but not really in any order that's going to be super beneficial. Um, so what we will do here is click new arrangement, and we're going to name this new arrangement default. Boom. So we have created another, so we have our master arrangement and a default arrangement. What this allows you to do is have multiple versions of the same song. So say we were to do this song, the same song, King of My Heart, another week, um, but we only wanted to do a chorus and a verse from it, or a chorus and then the bridge, or just go into the bridge and the tag. Instead of deleting slides out or rearranging this default one, all we have to do is click new arrangement, and we can say, I want to name this as a, you know, tag or something like that, King of My Heart tag, um, and then we can arrange the order from there. So we have our masters done. We created our default arrangement, and we're going to use this chord chart to determine how we lay this out here. Um, this chord chart is great from the Worship Initiative and has er, the whole flow laid out at the top. Not all of them have it, and sometimes you have to just look at the flow um, of the, the chord chart, but where you've got it really beautifully lined up up here. So we see that it's intro, verse one, chorus, verse two. They have it A and B, um, but it is the, the exact same as far as lyrics are concerned. Um, so we can see here we have intro, verse one, chorus, verse two. We need to add another verse two here. So what we're going to do is just grab it from up top here and boom, drop it in there. So now it's intro, verse one, chorus, verse two, verse two and then bridge. I don't think that's right. Yes, because so it goes back into the chorus after that. So we're going to grab the chorus here and drag it after verse two the second time. Uh, and then bridge, chorus, chorus, end. Um, so then bridge, and then we will add chorus, chorus. Whoa, nope, that was verse one. Uh, chorus, chorus, tag, interlude, ending. Um, so... Right now, we don't, I don't think, yeah, so this isn't really showing um, if where there would be a pause or an interlude. Um, if there were like an interlude section, in, would, there would, you know, in between a verse or a chorus or something like that, um, that's where you would take this interlude, this blank slide that we put in here. Um, I don't know. I think it's pretty straight through here. Yeah, I don't think that there's a spot for this. We may, I'll just actually, I'm going to go ahead and put it after the double chorus. Um, that way, if the band decides to do something else, um, we've got the, the extra blank slide there. Um, whether we use it or not, they, they might just go straight into um, the tag. Uh, but it's there if, if we need it. So now uh, we can click this to get rid of our arrangement view. And now we see we have the whole song. We can click on the first slide and then you can just use your right arrow or space bar to click through and we can see our output right here. Um, and we can just go through this real quick and make sure that all of these are correct. Um, and the flow here matches um, the, the chord chart and the flow that they're going to be using for worship. So there you go. That's a really quick, uh, fast overview of how to create a song and put lyrics in um, and using the groups and arrangement master arrangement views uh, to to throw together a, a song really quick. So hope you learned something. And um, oh, what in the world did I do? Command Z. That's my uh, my favorite little button there. If you do something, you, you don't know what you did. Command Z will, uh, will get you right out of that. So there it is. Feel free to reach out and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.